The storm system heading our way is already being blamed for plenty of problems as it sweeps the nation. Today, high winds in Texas are helping wildfires spread more quickly. The Louisiana fire marshal is urging people to pause outdoor burning, and Washington Parish has a burn ban in place right now. We're also seeing damage from the high winds itself. As the storm passed through Ohio, it knocked a big rig on its side and sent trees crashing into homes. Wind gusts are reaching speeds of 50 miles an hour. And early this morning in Michigan, at least two tornadoes touched down. The storms also brought hail and plenty of lightning. This is only the second time a tornado has ever been recorded in southern Michigan in February. Now, the severe weather is expected to lose much of its punch before it arrives here, but it will certainly be noticeable. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. We shouldn't see anything severe here, but we are are expecting rain and a major drop in the temperatures. It was feeling like the 80s at lunchtime and later tonight it will feel like the 50s. Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin joining us now with a closer look. Chris, it's going to get really chilly, right? Yes, not really cold, chilly. We're not going to see the extremes to areas to our north and for us the temperature drop while fairly substantial, mainly because we've been in the 80s for the last three days, including today under overcast skies and some very light showers pushing through the area. This is the front and boy, almost all of the rainfall has just about fizzled as it is pushed into our area. So really not much in the way of rain as that's kind of weakening. We are though going to stay under even as that front is kind of pushed south. We're going to remain under mostly cloudy skies even through the night and going into the day tomorrow. But the temperatures are coming down. Topped out at 80 degrees at Kenner, now 73 degrees. So we're starting to get into the cooler air here. Still 79 at Bell Chase of the front right on your doorstep in the upper 60s at Slidell, Bogalusa and already in the 50s in Macomb. So the temperatures will be steadily dropping throughout the rest of this evening, as is the humidity and the winds are picking up Had a bit of a breeze during the day today, but you can clear to see where that front is. Winds are gusting up to almost 50 miles an hour right now at Kenner, sustained at about 25 and some strong wind gusts on the North Shore as well. That is all pushing south. We will be much chillier tonight and tomorrow morning and staying pretty cool as we even wrap up the week. But rainfall will be moving our way. We'll talk more about that and the timing of those showers and thunderstorms in just a few minutes.